In this video, we are going to find out as to how to enroll a personal Mac machine into the Intune platform. So as you can see on the screen, I have a Mac machine which has a administrator logged in session. So this is completely different to an organization having an Apple business manager or an Apple school manager when which you are trying to enroll uh, Mac machines into Intune automatically. So this is a scenario in which you have a Mac machine, maybe your first one in the organization, and you have an admin account and you have logged into the Mac, or it could be a personal Mac machine and you just want to enroll it into Intune and get a feel for as to how things work in the Intune platform and how to manage the Macs uh, using Intune. So first things first, so let's just go back into the Intune portal. So intune.microsoft.com, click on devices, and let's go into Mac OS. And over here, Mac OS devices, as you can see, we don't have any devices yet enrolled into Intune. So let's click on Mac OS enrollment. And you can see that all the options have been lit up. So the Apple MDM push certificate has to be configured before you can enroll any kind of Apple devices into Intune. And as you can see, I have the status is active and everything has been lit up, all the configs. So the process of setting up the prereqs of MDM push certificate was dealt with in a previous video and I'll put a link in the description and also on the screen. So do watch that one first if you haven't done so. So let's close that. So now the prereqs is in place. Let's just now switch back to our Mac machine. Now in order to enroll the Mac machine, what we need to do is to go into Safari so that we don't have any other apps on this particular Mac, just the basic out of the box applications uh, installed. So no Edge, no other browsers, just Safari at the moment. So let's go into Safari and let's go into aka.ms slash enroll my Mac. So aka.ms is the URL shortener domain from Microsoft. So let's click enter. And what happens is it installs, or it, sorry, downloads the company portal app onto the machine. So as you can see, you have company portal dash installer. It's a PKG file. We have to manually install the company portal. So that's step number one. So let's do that. Let's double click on the PKG file. Let's close the Safari in the background. All right, let's click continue. And it's just going with the installation wizard. So let's click continue again, agree to the license. I click install. And it will ask for the local administrator username and password. So the username is pre-filled, which is Cloudific in my case. I need to give in the password of my local admin account on this Mac to install the software. Let's wait for the software to be completely installed. And there it is. So it says the installation was successful. So let's close and move the installer file into trash because we don't no longer need that one. So let's close that window. So the Microsoft auto update uh, data notification comes up. You can click OK to that. So it is trying to pick up any applications that we have on the Mac and try to install to keep it up to date. So let's just see as to what we have. So within the auto update, we have to update the auto update itself and the company portal is up to date. So let's just do that real quick. Let's close all the notifications. So as you can see, it says all apps are up to date. So let's close that off. So we have installed company portal application on this Mac machine now. So that's step number one. Next step is to open up the company portal. So launch the launch pad, or you can go into Finder and pick the applications tab and then launch company portal app from there. So there it is, company portal. So whichever way you prefer, double click on the application to launch it. And the first step that we have is to sign into the Intune side of things, or so sign into M365. Microsoft 365 using your username and password. So let's do that. Let's click on sign in. And I will log in as Rose Gala. So Rose at cloudific.training. And click next. Sponge in the password. And click sign in. So it comes up with set up Cloudific training access. So this this side when which it says Cloudific training. So that's the name of the organization that you have in the tenant. So depending upon whatever name you have given as the organization name that will come up. So make sure you have your organization name over here so that it's easier for user to figure out that it 
is trying to connect to your organization resources and not a third party. So let's click on begin. And it says over here as to what Cloudific training can see. So what your organization can see. So here it says what can't be seen. So view browsing history or opening your emails or contacts or calendar, accessing your password, reviewing your documents. These things are not possible for your organization. Whereas the one on the right hand side is possible. So view the model of the machine that you have, the operating system, the serial number, the names of the apps that you have installed, identify your device by name, reset the machine, if it is lost or stolen so those kind of things so these are information for the end user who is trying to enroll in our case it's the it admin itself trying to enroll to get a feel for as to how things work in the intune side of things uh, around mac machines so let's click on continue so it's checking your mac to see whether you have keychain access has been set up and stuff so it comes back and says you need to install a management profile so this has to be done again let's Click on downloading the profile. So it downloads the profile. It will force you to install and will ask for your local username and password so that it gets the rights to install the management profile. So let's click on the profile and let's click on install. And let's wait for the pop-up to come up when it is asking for our credentials. There you go. Let me punch in my password and click on enroll. And off it goes and it starts to install that management profile. That is uh, the main way by which Intune manages the machine by using the management profile. So we have one over here. So let's close that off. And it has picked up that the management profile has been installed. It's checking device settings at the moment. You can use your machine at this point in time, just like the Windows machine when you try and enroll a Windows machine into Intune. It runs in the background, so you could minimize the window and then you could do whatever you want with your Mac machine and the enrollment runs behind the scenes. So in our case, we don't have anything to do. So let's just keep it up on the screen. All right, it took about 30 seconds and it com comes back and says that you're all set. You should now have access to your email, devices, Wi-Fi and apps for work. You can click on done. And now the company portal gives you the information regarding all the devices that you have enrolled into the Intune platform. So the Windows 11 machine, that's the Windows 11 that I have enrolled as Rose Geller. So this is my Mac machine, so Cloudifix virtual machine. This is the device you are currently using, as it says over here. And now it says that the manufacturer is Apple, it's a virtual Mac, operating system is Mac OS. Ownership type is personal, because this is a personal machine which we have enrolled into Intune. But once we go into the Intune portal, we can change the ownership to corporate. So now that we have the machine over here, you could check for status, you could refresh the devices, you can rename the machine, you can remove it. So let's just check on status. This is way in which it is polling the Intune platform, trying to see whether it has anything for this particular machine to download or for applications to be installed. Let's just wait for that to complete. So there's nothing more. It says that the device status is in compliance. So we are, we are good to go. It's a good machine, clean machine. So let's flip back to the Intune portal and see whether our machine has landed on the cloud side of things. It does take a bit of time normally. Depends on how fast the cloud catches up. So let's go back into the Intune portal. Let's go into devices. And let's pick Mac OS as the platform. Oh, there it is. That was pretty quick. Um, there was no delay in the recording, so it was pretty quick. It says Cloudifix Virtual Machine as the device name. It is managed by Intune. It's a personal machine. It is compliant. It is running Mac OS, and the Mac version is 14.5, and the user is Ross at Cloudifix.training. So that went really well. So let's click on the machine, and let's just change the type from personal to corporate. So you get more information regarding the machine over here. So the primary user is Ross Geller, and you get to see what all the discovered apps are. We don't have anything at the moment. We haven't configured anything yet. No policies, uh, no apps to be installed. So it's just a machine, vanilla machine, Mac machine, which is now enrolled into Intune. So let's click on the properties. And you could give a different name for the machine if you want. You can change it to um, Mac OS, whatever you want to have over here. Now let's just change the device ownership from personal to corporate. So it says that you have to acknowledge the change and you have to save. So let's do that. And that's been done. So this is how you enroll a Mac machine into Intune. So if you refresh the page, 
they should catch up and say is that say that the personal ownership has been changed into corporate might take a bit of time so let's come back to that later on but this is how you enroll a mac machine into the intune platform manually so you go into aka.ms enroll my mac you download the company portal installer install the company portal run through the wizard sign into microsoft 365 download the management profile install the management profile and complete the wizard and once that happens your mac machine gets enrolled into intune do check back into the intune portal and see whether the machine has been enrolled and that completes the step of enrolling a mac machine into intune if you found this video informative do check out my other videos in the channel where i cover intune related topics I upload videos on a daily basis around Microsoft 365, Intune, Azure, Windows, PowerShell, and general ID stuff. So do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.